Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls Lore. Now today, to kind of break up the Jarl videos, we're going to be talking about Greenwall. And now, Greenwall is interesting because it has a, a it's again one of those settlements that has kind of this weird history where it was a, a garrison, then a settlement, and then a garrison again, and it, its history is uh, a bit weird when it comes to that. So. We're going to be kind of jumping on to the same thing we've been doing with things like uh, a mole and other settlements we're going to be covering later on in the future. So, Greenwall was constructed by ancient snow elves, and it was known by an unknown name at the time, but was destroyed during the Nordic Falmer War by the companions of Fallowstone Hall. Their purge went from Lake Gear to Lake Honridge, and essentially destroyed and killed every snow elf in that area. Now, its ruins were discovered when the Nords were constructing the fort, and essentially they excavated the uh, ruins underneath the fort. And interestingly enough, the ruins were purposely misidentified as Nordic, even though they were elven, so it really kind of showcases the hatred the Nords had towards the elves at this time as well. So, it. It then essentially became a military stronghold and a garrison for the Rift. So, meant to initially also guard the road between Windhelm and Riften, it became a target for the hordes of the Kamal during the second Akaviri invasion, but then the hordes bypassed it and Riften, heading directly to Stonefall's Morrowind instead. There they were defeated by the Ebonheart Pact, and afterwards the fort was essentially abandoned. Now, during the Interregnum of 582 of the Second Era, a group of bandits led by Ugaric the Vile occupied the fort. The Thane of Riften at the time sent poison wine to them, to which they took it and drank it, and then were killed. But it is unsure if the fort was then reoccupied by the Rift or the bandits, because this is where things get kind of weird. It's weird because we get this moment where Greenwall becomes a settlement, and it's led by Lady Hante by 399 of the Third Era, and it essentially exists as just a minor settlement here and doesn't have a military presence anymore, but it's unsure if it was either later in the Third Era or early in the Fourth Era. Bandits again reoccupied the fort and took over, or the settlement was just abandoned and the, El and the bandits took over. It's kind of hard to say because we don't really know. And we know that bandits do did take over is because during the Fourth Era, 201, we do know that the bandits took over and had to be cleared out by Ulfric Stormcloak and the Stormcloaks, the Stormcloak army, because Riften had sided with the Stormcloaks during the Skyrim Civil War. And essentially, if the Empire were to take over the Rift, they would also then reoccupy the fort as well and use it as a military stronghold. Greenwall never really essentially played a massive role in terms of it being in terms of its importance in the region it served pri predominantly as a military stronghold and nothing less when it was even a settlement a minor settlement it was just a village it was kind of essentially equivalent to that of riverwood or iverstead or um Rorikstead. there's not really much to the place that would be able to give it some sort of economic importance or a, a trade beacon or a trade hub that any of the other towns have had. It doesn't have any major ports, It doesn't. Ha it's landlocked. So essentially, what Greenwall is, is predominantly a military structure. And that's what it would be and will maintain, and that will, that's what its status will be, be used for and maintained as. But nevertheless, I hope you all enjoyed. This is just a small video in terms of me filling the void between this and the Jarl of Solitude video. I was in the process of moving back home so I didn't have time to make a super long video or something drawn out but nevertheless it's nice to be back home and have consistent internet <laughs> and that that's for sure is probably the big kicker there and that and I'm taking a break from all the uh, platinum trophy hunting I'm doing because I it within last week I by platinum trophy to Jedi Fallen Order and then earlier uh, I guess late last week, early this week, it was actually Sunday, um, today is now Tuesday when I'm recording this, I platinumed No Man's Sky as well, and now I'm trying to platinum Sly 3. <laughs> so, with that, uh, 
we'll see how things go. It's just, just kind of my break in between things because I've been really gaming hard lately because I get three weeks off and this is three weeks of me going to be doing non-stop recording for you guys and having some fun because it feels good to be be free of some, some things. So uh, yeah, with that, I hope to see you all in the next video and I hope next week I can get out the Jarls of Solitude and then I'm hoping to work on a theory video for a couple weeks later so I can get something a bit longer and a lot more in depth than uh, something I've been doing lately because even though the Jarls video requires a lot of research and a lot of de digging deep to discover Jarls or leaders that we might not know of, um, I want to just I want to dive into something uh, either a hypothetical, theoretical, or uh, something that's a in-depth analysis of certain of, of a certain event because I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while. But nevertheless, I'm rambling at this point. And I hope to see you all in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you if you guys enjoy the the Lost Cities, <laughs> I, can, I should call it that, the Lost Cities series or Lost Villages series, uh, let me know in the like in the like the video. And then if you want more, comment comment other cities you su you suggest I check out because I've been just sticking to Skyrim at this point. But I'd be more than willing to tackle other cities out there. So with that, I hope to see you all in the next video and in the Discord chat. Peace. If you just happened to stumble upon this video and enjoyed, maybe consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber and you enjoyed, please hit that like button. It really helps way more than you actually think it would. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.